Hi everyone. Welcome to the another tutorial video for exponential series part 2. In this session we are going to see some summation problems on exponential series. Now let us go on to the topic. Before we get into the problems we should know what is the procedure to be followed for doing all these types of problems. So there is an algorithm for it which whose first step is we have to find the nth term of the given series by defining a formula tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Of course everyone will know this formula. It is a formula to find the nth term in the arithmetic progression. Here a is called the first term and n is called the number of terms and d is the common difference. Now we have to confirm that there is no n in the numerator so that we can easily simplify the terms by using the following three cases. Suppose if the numerator of your nth term so found is of degree 3 that is of n cube or 3 n cube whatever it is of degree 3 we should use this formula to simplify our terms that is numerator equal to a capital a this dr denotes nothing but the denominator in shorter version and denominator minus 1 into denominator minus 2 plus b into denominator into denominator minus 1 plus c into denominator plus d. Here a, b, c and d are all constants. Now suppose if you get the numerator is of degree 2, we should reduce the above formula into three constants like a into denominator into denominator minus 1, b into denominator plus c. Suppose if our numerator is of degree 1, we should get only the two constants a into denominator plus b. Step 4 is after eliminating n from the numerator, we should substitute n equal to 1, 2, 3 in the resultant nth term. After substituting n equal to 1, 2, 3, then we will get a sequence of terms in which adding column wise is the most important factor in doing these types of problems. Adding column wise means so you should not add all the terms together for n equal to 1, n equal to 2 etc. We should add all the first term for n equal to 1, n equal to 2 etc. And correspondingly, we have to add all the second terms for n equal to 2, 3, n equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Likewise, this is only called add column wise. Next, step number 6. So, after adding column wise, we have to apply the suitable standard expansion to sum the given series. Now, let us see how this algorithm works for a problem. Uh, this is a very simple, simple problem. So we have to add this series and it is equal to 5e. Now let us take the given series, the left hand side as s. Now we have to find what is the n for the numerator and n for the denominator. So without using the formula, it is observed easily that the numerator's nth term is n cube and the denominator nth term is n factorial. So now we apply. If the numerator is of degree 3, what we saw for getting the formula a into denominator, denominator here is what? Denominator is n. Excluding the factorial, we should consider a plus b into n plus c into n into n minus 1 plus d into n n minus 1 n minus 2 by n factorial whatever the denominator is given that should be written as it is now 
this n factorial get cancelled with this n factorial in the denominator okay now here there are four constants used a b c and d we have to get those values how comparing the like coefficients of powers on both sides we get the value of a is 0 b is 1 c is 3 and d is 1 therefore n cube by n factorial we get it reduced to like this okay now we are going to separate the terms that is first term separately second term and third term and so on so by splitting as a factorial n factorial can be written as as we all know n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial that n is cancelled with the numerator similarly for all the other terms then what is our next step we have to put n equal to 1 2 3 etc suppose if you put n equal to 1 here what will happen 1 minus 1 will get 0 so we get 0 factorial the other terms would get negative factorial there is no value for negative factorial so it it got omitted now let us substitute n equal to 2 here that's what we are getting t2 here 2 minus 1 is 1 factorial and 2 minus 2 is 0 factorial for the third term since we are getting negative factorial it is also omitted likewise n equal to 3 also we are substituting now what is our next step we have to add column wise that means all the first column elements separately that is first element of t1 is this one first element of first term of t2 is this one first term of t3 is this one so that we are adding all the first terms together now next there is only one term so it is taken now here only two terms are here of which first term is already added with the collecting first terms together now only left out is the second term in all the second terms three is there so this 3 is commonly taken out whose coefficient is 1 by 0 factorial here here 1 by 1 factorial and so on now let us talk about the third term in the first and second uh, terms of t1 and t2 there are no third terms only third term starts with t3 so it is 1 by 0 factorial 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial etc so this is nothing but e this is 3e e plus e so that we are getting 5e and that's what our answer very easy one now next problem is like this so it keeps on increasing term by term how to find here so your nth term is what will be the nth term it is from 1 to n what is the sum of the first n natural numbers n into n plus 1 by 2 the denominator is n factorial so as usual we have to eliminate n from the numerator by using the algorithmic method and steps so that our n's are eliminated from the numerator next as usual we are going to substitute n equal to 1 2 3 etc and next we are going to add column by that is all the first elements are collected second elements are collected together and third element third term elements are collected together so that at last we are getting this series so this is some more examples and this is the final one here this problem differs from other problem in what version in the above all the other problems we used to find the nth term then we simplified it to eliminate n here our half of the problem is solved in the first itself because they are given they gave the general term itself in the first our work is only to eliminate n and we have to find the unknown constants here by comparing the like coefficients on both sides and then we have to apply your usual procedure n equal to 1 2 3 and adding column wise so that we are getting this one thank you for patiently listening please stay with us for further tutorial videos thank you